Thomas? Hello everyone. As you might have heard already, the medium is coming to PlayStation 5. On top of the tense atmosphere, dark story and dual reality gameplay, we're spicing up the game with some dual sense features. Today, we want to show you how PlayStation's next-gen controller will help you get even more immersed into the mystery of the Neva Hotel. You play as Marianne, a medium possessing unique psychic abilities. One of them is the Spirit Blast, a powerful discharge of spiritual energy. To create a Spirit Blast, you first need to build up that energy. And on the PlayStation 5, the longer you charge it, the less resistance you'll feel on the trigger. Oh, that worked. To protect yourself against the threats of the spirit world, you can use the energy to create a spirit shield. Raise the shield when a swarm of moths attacks. And, thanks to the haptic feedback, you'll be able to feel dozens of creatures hitting the barrier from all directions. However, the spirit world hides much more dangerous things than moths. Things even a medium as powerful as Marianne cannot destroy. The only solution is to avoid detection, and to that end, you can even hold your breath. As you try your best not to breathe, the strength and frequency of haptic feedback will tell you how much longer before Marianne is going to run out of breath. During your investigation at the Neva Hotel, you'll come across so-called echoes. They are shreds of past events engraved in certain objects. To find echoes, you'll need to carefully inspect objects. You can do this traditionally with the analog stick or use the DualSense touchpad for a more tactile experience. Likewise, when you investigate a location searching for clues, you can look around using the motion controls instead of the stick if that's what you find more into. When exploring the two worlds, you'll encounter obstacles such as chains or skin-like barriers. As you cut through them with the bolt cutters or the razor, the sounds will come directly from the tool in your hands, which is the gamepad. Last but not least, the light bar imitates Marianne's flashlight. In the game, the light starts flickering whenever a monster is nearby, and we're recreating that same effect for the controller. These are just a few examples of how the medium takes advantage of the dual sense gamepad. We're implementing dozens of both systemic and one-off instances that will make playing the game on PS5 an unforgettable experience. Marion's investigation starts on September 3rd. We'll see you at the Neva Hotel.